Howdy y'all, my name is Price, and uh, welcome to a new game that I want to play for you guys. This is called Factorio. Oh man, this game is amazing. It's kind of a resource management sim. Think like, uh, you know, Minecraft or any of those other games where you gather resources, you build things, you progress. Um, but if any of you played the Minecraft mod Tech It, that's what this should really make you think of. It's all about trying to like automate your refining, your mining, everything so that you don't have to lift a hand. You'll see that at the beginning, we will have to actually use a, a miner pick, but um, very quickly, that should become a non-issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to start automating uh, our stuff right away. So you'll see this thing here. This is a burner mining drill. That means that it uses um, resources that it can burn in order to um, fuel it so that it can automate the process of um, mining. So you see it's a big drill. It's going to start drilling as soon as I pop some fuel in there. Um, <clears throat> and let's go ahead and just put a few coal in there so you can see what happens. So. Uh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Boom, popped some coal out the front, see that? And then we're gonna see an issue already in that it stopped. Why did it stop? Because if there's something sitting in front of it and it has nowhere else to go, the machines will stop. And this is actually a really crucial piece to automating stuff in the future in that your machines are intelligent enough to know to stop producing things if you know there's a backup. So that's great because then you don't end up wasting a whole bunch of resources while you wait for some machines to do something. So quick solution to this problem that we're gonna use in the short term while we move through um, our first steps of automation is we're gonna build a chest so that it can put that into a chest and it'll give it a lot of space in order to um, fill that up with coal which is going to be the backbone of our early automation process. So, as you can see, that chest, uh, the coal went right into the chest, and it's starting to fill up a whole bunch. Okay, so while we let that automate, let's talk a little bit about um, what we need to do here. You'll see that there's a couple different kinds of resources. We have coal, we have stone, which is really important. I'll actually gather a little bit of that because that's what you use to make stone furnaces, which you can see I have one of those in my tool belt over there. And um, you'll want to make sure you have a bunch of stone early on um, because it's important for building those furnaces, which are key components to a lot of different things. But the main thing here is that you don't want to be mining yourself. You want stuff to be doing it for you. Uh, and so that's what we're going to be trying to do. So um, I'm going to mine up a little bit of iron because we still need a few resources to start out with. Like I said, you got to get your hands a little dirty early on uh, before you can make your machines do your dirty work. Uh, and so I'm going to gather, I don't know, maybe 10 iron. Um, I like this little readout that it does every time you mine where it shows like how much you have in your pack uh, in the parentheses there so you can kind of get a readout for like okay I've got roughly as much as I want okay let's do that let's run back over here where our fuel is now pumping out let's put down this um, furnace here and let's grab a little bit of coal look at all that coal look how much coal we already have put, put a bunch back in there just so we don't have to worry about it anymore and let's get this stuff um, smelting some more iron plates um, and I think that'll be enough so we'll just wait for that so while we um, let that happen let's talk about what we want to do in this game if you look in the lower right you will see a gun that's right I have a gun which if you have a gun that means there's stuff to shoot right well yes indeed there are things to shoot uh, there are things that will attack you um, luckily uh, there's a really cool mechanic that I actually think is fantastic which is the bad guys in this are semi-intelligent and um, what it seems to be is that they are drawn to pollution. So the more you pollute, the more bad guys are going to be coming at you. Maybe they're angry at you for polluting their planet, or maybe they're just drawn to the smell of smoke. Whatever it is, they do not like it. So as you progress, you need to also be progressing your defenses equally to combat those issues. Um, all right, let's pick this guy up. So you need to be keeping that in mind the whole time um, while we're going through this process. Just get this out of the way of building up our base. So what do we mean by building up our base? What is it we want to do? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and build another burner mining drill, um, which actually used up our furnace that we had. You can see that that's a component of it. Whenever you highlight anything, this is the crafting menu, by the way. You can click through these different options here and see all the different things that you can build. And what's nice is that they'll automatically build all the intermediate components to something when you want to build it. And so when I click on burner mining drill, I don't have to build a bunch of iron gear wheels and a stone furnace and all the stuff. It'll do that automatically. It'll just take, as you can see at the very bottom, all the total raw components that you need and build the thing that you want out of that. So I'm definitely going to need another stone furnace here. And I'm actually going to want two of these things. And we'll need a couple more chests as well. Um, so. Let's put this down 
And while I'm doing this, you'll notice over on the right hand side, there's a little um, readout of how much energy this consumes, all of that, and that becomes really important when you switch over to electricity. Um, but right now, you'll also see that there is a little indicator in the, low, in the bottom part of that readout that says 4.7K. And as I move this around, you can see that that number increases or decreases. And that's just giving you a general idea of the yield of that spot, so you can try and maximize where you place things. But because I don't really care right now, because I'm planning on eventually phasing all of this stuff out, I'm going to just pop it down right there, and I'm going to put down a chest then I'm gonna put down one of these guys I can use the R key to rotate anything um, that can be rotated and you see it has little arrows and the arrow basically points to where it's going to put stuff and the line points to where it's gonna take things from so this is a little mechanical arm that's going to take stuff out of this box here and then put it into whatever we have over here and you'll see how that becomes a really key process here in a second let's go ahead and start this um, mining so it's at least getting some resources and let's put down our furnace there put down another one of these burner inserters as they're called and then finally we'll put a chest there and um, what we'll see in a second when we get a little bit more coal to fuel that stuff up you can also use wood as fuel but I just figure coal is coal it's good to just kind of be consistent let's fill this guy up a little bit again uh, and just kind of rely on one main fuel source later on you can actually switch over to much more complex fuel sources if you want um, but for now we're gonna use coal um, all right, so let's fill these guys up a little bit. Yeah, this guy's gonna need more than those. So let's actually just do a half stack, and then uh, yeah, seven's enough for that guy. And boom. Okay. So look, look what's happening. If I hit Alt, you can actually get a readout of the direction of everything and what's being produced where. So you see that iron ore is in this chest here because it's getting pumped out of this uh, drill here. This burner inserter is taking that iron ore and putting it into the smelter whenever there's a space. The smelter is turning it into iron plates. This burner inserter is taking that out of the smelter and putting it into this chest. Boom. Automation. We're doing it, guys. This is the first step towards having a factory that does all of our work for us and so we can just reap in the benefits. It's wonderful. So let's grab some more of those plates. Um, I'm going to go grab a little bit more stone because I think I'm going to need it. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to need to build a second furnace. Um, and then we'll just get some more of this stuff going. We're going to continue to automate this process. Maybe I'll actually I'll go ahead and automate the stone um, production first before I move on to getting copper. But this first step here, we're just going to try and get some minor automation of all of the four basic ores, materials, what have you. Um, and then our goal is going to be to get everything switched over to electricity. Because with electricity, you're still going to be running off of coal from the beginning to run some steam engines. You can see some very complex stuff goes into steam engines uh, and boilers. But um, what those will do is those will pump water, and we have this wonderful nice big lake over here, into the steam engines, we'll fuel those with coal, and then that will be able to hook up all of our stuff to that electric grid so we don't have to worry about moving coal all around and being all um, really cumbersome with that. Instead, we can just centralize that to one place, and that's what it's all about in this game is really centralizing everything so that you can maximize the efficiency of what you got going on. So let's get this guy running, and we'll just put a chest there for that, and... Do -do 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 do fill that up a little bit and uh, yeah we'll let some more of that fill uh, and you can always whenever you want you can just control click on a chest and that'll just pick up everything that's in there um, which can be useful if you know that a chest has uh, one specific resource that you want so it's like oh, yeah I know I want all these plates boom got them all 25 wow that's a lot look how quickly we've got that stuff all right so let's go ahead and build another burner drill we're gonna need another chest which we've got plenty of wood you actually see there's iron chests as well, um, which uh, hold a lot more. So you can upgrade the chest that already exists, uh, which is nice. Just put that there, put that there. Do I have any coal on me? Yes, of course I do. Wonderful. So let's just go ahead and get that started. Uh, you got coal. I don't want to take that. Um, you got coal. How about you guys? Seven? Seven? Yeah, see these guys don't take um, quite as much as the other uh, bigger machines. Okay, do we have enough to make? Yeah, we can make two more of those. And if we get enough stone, yes, we can go and build our furnace. And we can set up our little, we're just going to mirror what we did up there and set up the same process again. And let's get all these guys fueled up. Oof, we definitely need some more coal, so we're going to have to go grab that from this one. 
Let's see how we're doing. 24, boom, perfect. How are you doing? Nine? I'll give you three more. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, you can see already we're kind of getting stuff working for us so that we don't have to work. It's so what that, that old adage, you know, work, uh, work smarter, not harder. That's what we're going for. We want to work smart, not hard. Get this stuff to work for us. Okay. So we've got our copper plates working. We've got our iron plates working. Um, let's go chop down some trees. Well, actually, I think we have enough wood, probably. Yeah, we're probably fine. Yeah, we can make some poles. And let's start planning out what we're going to do for our power grid. I think the best option is to just kind of keep it near the coal. Um, it'll uh, make it quicker for the automation process um, to just be able to come straight off of the coal onto a belt or something that'll go right into the boilers that we'll have. And I think we'll just have it run maybe this way, like long ways, tall ways. Um, or I guess we could have it go this way. Let's chop out these trees first, just get them out of the way. Um, <clears throat> and so the way that these things work is um, basically you pump water out of here, like I said, and then that'll go into some boilers that are powered by coal that you want to have automatically fed by the burner inserters or hopefully electrical inserters, right? So then it's automatically done. And then from there, um, that'll go into the steam engines, which will produce energy. And we're going to start with a pretty small setup, but which will actually be more than what we need, could possibly need in this early phase of the game. Let's see, can I actually build everything right now? I'm going to need a little more of everything. I think because we want to be able to just quickly make this the transition so that we don't have to um, kind of work with a cumbersome thing so we want to be able to have the fully automated setup um, right out the gate with this so we're definitely gonna need one water pump we're going to need uh, I'd like at least I'd like three of these actually what do I need I need more iron okay well while we wait for that we'll also want at least three boilers um, and then from there, we're going to also need uh, one inserter for each boiler. So three, these are electric inserters. You can see they're yellow, so they are slightly different. Um, and then we're going to need a bunch of these transport belts, which are conveyor belts that will move this coal from here down into um, that whole system down there. Well, let's see how this guy's doing on iron plates. We've got another 15. Hmm. We might need to speed that up a bit if I'm not able to get quite everything that I want because I want a whole one of these. I need another five for these. I'm going to need some other iron pipes as well, and I'm going to need some of these guys. So let's see. All right, we're at 20. Let's get our third. Well, we can at least get the stuff moving, and as it's getting built up, we can um, come back and get some more resources. So let's get our pump down. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't letting me build it just because I wasn't close enough. Uh, if you're too far away, it'll become yellow and then you can't build it. So something to keep in mind. Sometimes you can build something somewhere, you just aren't in the right position. So from here, yeah, I'm going to we'll put it. You want to always kind of try and future-proof yourself. Put things kind of farther away. Uh, put things in positions to where you can give yourself a lot more space in the future to move things around. Because you'll be amazed at how much power we have to produce later on uh, in this game. So... Um, I we'll want to have a couple of iron pipes coming out, and then maybe let's do it um, like this, and then we'll have our, yeah, that'll be good. Steam engines there, and can I move by here? Yes, you always want to kind of leave yourself some space to move around as well, it's just kind of um, good practice for the future. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll have those guys bring down upon a conveyor belt the coal, that'll come like right down past here right in front of this so then we can have our little inserters set up like that to grab the coal and we'll actually probably want to have one on the end to grab the excess coal that gets into there and put that into a chest just so that we're constantly moving coal forward instead of just leaving it on the belt uh, okay let's go see how many more uh, oh, of course we're out of fuel up here my hubris my hubris how many do we have Ah, 22 that should be fine you don't need that much. We'll switch you out soon enough. How about you? Are you doing... Oh, that other one needs fuel. You're going to need some fuel. See, this is why you want to automate everything. You don't want to be doing this, babysitting all these machines and whatnot. All right. Let us see. Eh, you can just stay out of fuel. Okay. What can we build right now? We're going to need... First, we're going to need some pipes. Let's build one, two, three, four, five of these guys. Do, do, do... 
do. Perfect. So now we have water flowing in here. And if you hover over it, you can see on the right hand side, it shows the temperature. Uh, and as we follow it through the pipes, uh, it'll show us the temperature as it increases. And I think three boilers should be way more than enough there. Now we need a whole bunch of these guys, which I don't think this is going to be enough to get down here. Um, but we'll get it as far as we can. Yeah, we're going to need at least twice that many, probably three times that many. Uh, but that's fine. Let's go get some more. They don't cost a lot of iron. Those pipes cost a fair amount. Let's see. Oh, 19 iron plates? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's build some more of these. Let's build them all, actually, because that might not be enough yet. <laughs> Again, reasons why you want everything automated so you just don't have to be worrying about that stuff on your own. Okay, do do do. Almost there. Um, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and build some poles. Because as you can see, they're, these guys are waiting for electricity. It's because they're not hooked up to any kind of electricity network. So yeah, we'll want one there, which will be nice. And you want to make sure that they connect to each other. Mm, I'm not going to be able to get around back there with these poles, but I can always pull them out when I need to. Oh, and that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be a perfect spot for it. And then there. And as you can see, these, uh, this will actually move me along. Whee! Not quite fast, but if you run on it, you go pretty fast. All right, let's go see how much... Oh, I definitely want you to continue producing for a little while. Um, let's go see how many iron plates we have, because if we can get that set up, then we're going to be in the clear. All right, each time you produce these, by the way, they make two, so that's why... You know, it says six. That's a little misleading. It's actually 12. Uh, oh, maybe just enough. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, are you kidding? All right, that's fine. That's fine. We can get one up and running. And so we can actually go ahead and start... Um, oh, wait, I need another one for right there. All right, let's go grab a few more plates, uh, and hopefully that will be enough. Um, right, iron plates. Got plenty. Well-ish. That might be just enough. Okay, so let's um, grab out of there. Let's uh, just hold right-click to get rid of that. And then, do, do, do. Now it'll put stuff onto the belt. Yeah, you can see it's moving along there now. Uh, and we will continue this along so it goes right in front of all three of them. And then, if I get that out of my hand, if I open these guys up and give them a little jump start. Uh, da, da. Yeah, you can already see it. Yeah, look. Watch it go along and boom! Puts it in there. Check that out. Uh, we've got power. Alright, so you'll see that these boilers are heating up. They're at temperature 100, as you can read on the right-hand side. And if we look over here, um, it shows us that the temperature is increasing within the steam engine, so they're continuing to produce power. And really, the only reason that they're not getting up to maximum available performance, as it says there, is because they're not actually really having to do much right now. So, um, on our next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our grid going along. We're going to get all of these things turned into electric versions of themselves so that nothing, oh, the only stuff running off of coal is going to be these guys down here so that we've centralized everything. We can continue to expand this out as we need to, but uh, I think that'll be a chance for another time because this video is already getting pretty long. So uh, I've been Price. This has been Factorio. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Go check it out. It's in alpha right now, but they're updating it pretty frequently, like once a month. It's pretty amazing all the changes that they've been making in a pretty short period of time. So I definitely say go check it out. I don't know if they're on Steam Greenlight yet. Not as of the recording of this, but maybe by the time it's out, they'll have worked through that process. But um, definitely go check it out. This game is wonderful. I love it a whole bunch. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a like, give us a favor, and give us a subscription. It really helps the channel move forward so I can continue to give you guys great stuff. And if you like this series, let me know so that I can kind of plan on making it a long series rather than one of my short kind of look at a games. I'd like to make, maybe make a big series out of it if you guys really take to it. So uh, with that, I've been Price, and uh, I will see you all next time. Bye.